Like it or not, Africa has generally been behind in the world stage when it comes to economic strength. Since colonization, natural resources were extracted and exported to Europe, turned into products that were sent back to Africa to be bought and consumed in the form of clothes, technology, petroleum, jewelry, and a plethora of products. As time has changed and models can be researched, there have been unproductive talks about industrializing the African continent. So what would happen if most of the African countries started manufacturing the natural resources themselves instead of exporting them? Would this drastically change Africa and the world? That is what we'll discuss today on Africa Assemble. By the way, be a friend and subscribe, click the notification button to never miss our videos and like this video to help us make more content you love about our amazing continent. Let's dive in. Africa is blessed with so many natural resources. DRC alone has $28 trillion worth of unexploited mineral resources. However, the problem is these natural resources are extracted usually by foreign companies using local labor, sent to other parts of the world and refined into products and then sold as a profit to other nations, including African nations. As a result, you have a country like Nigeria receiving 54 billion naira for exporting oil but then spending the same 54 billion naira on purchasing petroleum products from the same countries that bought the crude oil in the first place. This is still happening because of the lack of planning and infrastructure to turn these raw materials into products of use. Another reason is that governments do not focus on increasing this avenue. Exporting resources that are greatly needed in the world would be much easier for a profit, and then due to corruption the wealth is not dispersed well throughout the nation. We can look to the nation of Equatorial Guinea for this. The nation receives a hefty sum for its oil, but most of the nation's population is still below the poverty line. Right now, less than 1 in 10 Africans find jobs in manufacturing, and what's worse, Africa only outputs a meager 1.5% share of the world's total manufacturing input. It's why you'll never see a made in Kenya plate. Making things worse, the current relationship with China reaping a reduction in trade and funding has kept the African leaders keeping to exporting and importing over manufacturing. So with that said, what would happen if African nations decided to industrialize, focusing on producing services and goods to the world? So many positives and some negatives. First, industrializing will create more jobs. As the African continent comprises of 1.2 billion people, the continent will be able to employ a horde of employers. This in continuation would improve the GDP and the GNI of many countries, making things more affordable for the average person on the continent while giving consumers an alternative on what to purchase. Over time, this would drive healthy competition between African countries, only improving the products created. As China used this model to get to where it is today, it is becoming more expensive in labor costs, and African nations could only take advantage of this, getting the attention of other foreign nations looking for business partners. As demand increases, the countries could increase their bargaining power when it comes to trade. Ultimately, this will turn many countries into middle-income countries. In middle-income countries, the GNI begins at $1,000. This not only makes people wealthier, but it improves the quality of life in the country and adds advantages to the world. This yields poverty reduction, international financial stability, prevents Africans fleeing to Europe or America and global cross-border issues, including climate change, sustainable energy development, food and water security, and international trade. Industrialization will also boost free trade in Africa and lure foreign investors as they will have other options of investment when Africa becomes part of the market. What are the factors hampering industrialization right now? Deficiencies in the energy sector. There are frequent power cuts and the supply is costly, underdeveloped skills and lack of qualified manpower, high cost of capital, poor infrastructures such as bad roads and inefficient ports, and corruption. So what do you think? Though some African nations are mobilizing into industrialization, do you think it is possible based on the leadership in the continent? If Africa had undergone industrialization earlier, it could have had the means to colonize other nations. Click here to see what would happen if Africa colonized Europe. Do not forget to subscribe and like the video to help us. Comment below to discuss or request a video. Okay, bye now.